Hello, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'll be introducing electroculture for the first time as I find this method highly effective and beneficial. Electroculture is an age-old technique that taps into the abundant energy present in our environment to enhance agricultural productivity. By harnessing the Earth's atmospheric energy, this method allows us to significantly increase yields without relying on pesticides, fertilizers, or manure. To utilize electroculture, you can create atmospheric antennas using readily available materials like wood, copper, zinc, or brass. By incorporating these antennas into your garden, soil, or farm, you unlock a multitude of benefits like enhanced growth and root development, increased resistance to disease, enhanced flowering and fruiting, and many more. In today's video, I'll show you how to utilize electroculture on houseplants. I will demonstrate how to easily make these antennas and share the before and after results of this incredible method. I began testing this approach in April of this year. I had a few plants that were dying, and I decided to see if electroculture could save them since I had already tried other methods without success. Atmospheric antennas can be made from natural wooden pieces or purchased wood dowels from places like Home Depot, along with copper wire. It is believed that the taller the antenna, the taller the plant will grow. However, in the case of houseplants, I have experimented with various sizes, and they all have shown great results. Additionally, different thicknesses of copper wire have also yielded positive effects. The most crucial aspect of these antennas is wrapping the wooden dowel with copper wire in a Fibonacci spiral or vortex shape, facing magnetic north in the air. Then, you can place the antenna in your potted houseplant and witness the magic unfold. Now, let me demonstrate how to make it. Leave a small portion of the copper wire, as that will be the part that goes into the ground. Hold it tightly and start winding the wire around the wooden dowel, forming a spiral. I've noticed that it can be a bit challenging to wrap the wire around smaller wooden sticks, but sometimes you might need small and thin sticks, depending on the size of the pot. Another important aspect of this method is the direction of winding the wire. If you live in the northern hemisphere, like me, you will wind the wire in a clockwise direction. If you are in the southern hemisphere, you will wind it in the opposite direction, counterclockwise. In the end, leave a part of the wire that will be bent upwards. This part is intended to collect atmospheric energy and transfer it to your plant. When the antenna is ready, insert it into the pot with soil, being careful not to damage the plant's roots. As a practice, I usually place the antenna near the edge of the pot to avoid disturbing the main roots of the potted plant. In this case, I will be placing this antenna in my Alocasia amazonica to stimulate the growth of more leaves. I will share the results in a few weeks. This was my Alocasia zebrina in April when I placed the antenna. It had only one leaf at that time. Now, after 2.5 months, it has transformed into a completely rejuvenated plant. I apologize for not having additional pictures or videos of the before stage since I hadn't initially planned to create a video about this method. Nonetheless, the results are highly visible and remarkable. This was my Calathea roseobicta in April. She was infested with spider mites, and despite my efforts, I couldn't save her. She started shedding all her leaves, and her condition was almost critical when I decided to place the antenna. Now, she has a few healthy leaves and new, larger growth. The spider mites have been eradicated, and she appears incredibly healthy without any brown edges, which can be challenging to achieve with Calatheas.
attempted to rescue another Calathea using this method. I purchased this Calathea picturata while she was in a distressed state, exhibiting issues on every leaf. I acquired her in March, with the intention of trying out the antenna method, and I immediately placed the antenna without using any other treatments. Over the course of almost three months, until now, the end of June, she has undergone a remarkable transformation and now appears completely different. The fourth plant I rescued and observed rapid growth in was my begonia maculata. It was exhibiting slow growth and losing new leaves consistently. However, once I placed the antenna, it immediately began to recover and ceased losing leaves. Now, after two months, it has grown significantly taller, standing firmly without any leaf loss. The plant continues to thrive, growing bigger and bigger. This is my daughter's golden pot hose. Due to an accidental exposure to cold temperatures during winter, it lost almost all of its leaves. In an effort to save it, I decided to place the antenna. After two and a half months, the plant has undergone a remarkable transformation. It appears refreshed, displaying new growth, and its leaves are now healthy and incredibly shiny. I am more than satisfied with the results. These five different houseplants, each with their own unique health issues, serve as ample proof to me that electroculture is an amazing method for plant growth. I must admit, I was initially skeptical, but now I plan to place antennas on my healthy plants as well, to stimulate their growth and help them withstand the summer heat. One of the remarkable aspects of electroculture is its sustainable and environmentally friendly nature. By harnessing atmospheric energy, you can reduce or eliminate the need for pesticides, fertilizers, and other chemical inputs. This promotes a more eco-friendly approach to plant cultivation. I have created this video to share with you the easiest and most effective method for growing healthy plants. I would also like to mention that I practice playing music for my plants, particularly using the 432 Hz frequency. It has been proven that houseplants benefit from natural frequencies to grow healthy. I have been practicing music for plants for many years, and the results have been amazing. The positive vibes of the music also have a beneficial impact on humans. In light of this, I have created specially designed music for plants, which I would love to share with you. I will provide a link in the video description to the playlist titled Music for Plants, so you can incorporate it into your daily routine. Additionally, I will be creating a dedicated video on how plants respond to different types of music and frequencies, so be sure to subscribe to my channel. If you like my content, please support my channel by clicking on the subscribe button. It means a lot to me, and it's completely free for you. Thanks for watching.